please don't judge me in the comments. I'm just like, people are gonna, I know that there's gonna be people in the comments who are gonna be like, she looks really uncomfortable. And I'm gonna be like, it's because I am. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Today I've got my twin sister Madison with me for a Shein haul. You guys seem to be loving the back to school content, and I wanted to bring her on right before we go back to school for a little like sister style. I don't even know what to Thing. call it. Basically, <laughs> I let Madison choose half of the items from today's Shein order. So she's got 15 items, I've got 15 items, and you guys are gonna be kind of seeing the difference in our styles, especially when we're at school. I'm a fashion merchandising major at Kent State University, and 100% of my classes are online for the fall. I am a civil engineering major at Marshall University, and as of right now, I have 100% of my classes in person. So we're going to show you some of our back to school clothes, and kind of you guys will be able to see a little bit difference in our style, how we dress on an everyday basis, all that jazz. So hope you guys enjoy, and without further ado, let's hop right on in. All right, so the first thing I got is this bandana top. I have another one, but I really have been loving them this summer, so I wanted to pick up another one. This one is a size medium, just for... Reference. reference. All their bandana tops usually come in just a medium for some reason. Oh, I didn't even know that. Yeah. All of the oh, bandana yeah. tops you have is a medium. Anyways. Cute for Cute. class. Ties in the back. Can wear it going out. Moved in. Okay, so I'm obviously a fashion merch major, so I like to wear pretty out there things. I know that my classes are online, but I'm obviously still blogging. I'm still doing YouTube every single day when I'm at school, so getting dressed is really important to me. It makes me feel Sweet. good. So I picked up this jumpsuit right here. If I had a first week of school, like, you know, in person, I would totally wear this the first week. It's really, really cute. It is like a denim material jumpsuit. It's really thick, but it's white denim, which I really like. The length of it was kind of odd on me, so I did cuff the bottom just to make it more of a capri length, and then it's got buttons all the way up the top, some fun little pockets, more of like that cargo style fit. I thought this was really unique, and I thought there would be some fun ways to style this, whether it be just for the blog or for class, online class. I'm really interested to see how this looks on you, McKenzie. Alright, so next I picked up this really cute white bodysuit. It is a little bit long on me, but... It I don't know, it still fit me pretty well. So it has these four buttons up here that you can, you know, leave button if you leave button if you want, unbutton if you don't, you know, whatever. Um, I would probably wear this with like jeans or like a jean shorts. Okay, so next up I went ahead and grabbed a little two-piece set. I actually have this same workout set in light blue and I just wore it the other day while I cleaned out my closet and I loved it. So I grabbed this in three other colors. I only have one with me today, but two of them are going to be in my next Romwe haul. So basically this is like such a great Gymshark dupe. It is that blend of um, nylon, polyester, and spandex that I rave about so much from them. I just really like the shorter biker shorts. I think they're really flattering on my body shape since I am shorter. And it came with a matching sports bra. This is great for the gym, lounging around, doing homework, um, you know, in bed. And you can throw like an oversized t-shirt over top for more of that like I actually have have to leave the house now vibes. So I have this like white denim skort type deal. It's not really a skort, it's just shorts with this like shorts with an envelope with flap an envelope over top. Flap. Mackenzie told me I must have this because it's a basic and this she, is a great piece for college. It. You can wear this to class with a turtleneck. You can like, you know, and some mules. Yeah. You can wear it out with a bodysuit and some chunky like wedges, whatever, you know, chunky boots. Or it's a great piece to have if you're in a sorority, like and you need those basic bottoms that are those sure. colors. This is something really easy to pick up because shorts gives you mobility, but it's just a skirt, so it looks cute. Yes. Um was it big? It was a little bit big around my waist. I will say that, but it is a really nice thick white denim, so not see-through. Not really see-through. Okay, next up I picked up this pink and white gingham smocked dress. I love this. This is totally something I would wear for a little first day of school outfit if we were having one. Honestly, like I know that my classes are online, but I still get dressed like for a day of working from home in something like I'm wearing right now, a dress and earrings. So I pres like I assume that I will be wearing the same kind of thing when I get at school. I'll still be pretty presentable, especially because I am on camera for most of the day. So this was really cute. I loved the fit of this. If you are a little bit taller, I'd probably size up just for length, but I loved the self-tying straps. They tie into really big bows, which is really feminine, really preppy. Overall, just a great quality piece. Next, I have this this fun top that I was really excited about to get. This is cute. Um, it's, this is what Mackenzie calls, like, you can tell that it's Shein because of these, the pattern on it. Yeah, Although, it's a Shein pattern. It's a Shein pattern. But, but it's I still really cute. It's really cute. It, like, ties right there in the front. Um, 
This is a great piece this if you have really a dress great. code. Like this totally I... passes the dress code check. Even though it does look really low, it obviously self ties. So it does self. So that and it just has my my classic Madison like Pebblum style. Madison loves so. the Pebblum. Yay. Yeah. Okay, next up I picked up this little white top. I really, really like tops from Shein that have these like two ties right here and they go around your neck. I think it's a really, really flattery idea. neckline. Madison doesn't like them, but I do. This really needs to be ironed. Like I have a feeling when this is steamed, it will be like a half inch longer. This is super, super cropped. Obviously not a top that I would wear to class, um, but because I'm not going in to class, I don't have to worry about that. And I figured this would be a great going out top. You could just wear this with denim shorts those first few weeks at school where it's still really warm warm out and this would look adorable so a lot you can do with it great little beach basic too all right so next I picked up this pretty basic black smocked top I really love tops like this mainly because Mackenzie got a white one like a few years ago and I just fell in love with it so here I am she borrows it all the time now I, she's sold yep so this is pretty basic it's cropped I would probably wear it with like High waisted jean shorts or anything like that, maybe a skirt. With um, some chacos, like with some chacos, maybe my like cute tivas that I like to use to like dress up for class. These are good if you're going. These out. are also good that I got from them as well. So these are my first shoes from Shein that like where the elastic like fits your foot actually perfectly. fits my foot, like it's secure on my foot. So I was really really happy with that. And these are a 37. So usually I think last time I got a 38, and the elastic was a little bit loose on me. So but tell them what size shoe you are. Oh yeah, I'm not usually a size seven, so. Okay, speaking of dresses, I picked up another one. I've mentioned it a dozen times here on my channel, how much I love just easy baby doll dresses for when I'm home. I love wearing no pants, especially when it's like still warm outside. So a dress like this is really easy for me to just throw on and kind of wear around the house while I'm checking things off my to-do list, editing videos, running around. I loved the fit of this. It's definitely on the thinner side. You definitely have to wear nude undergarments with it, but I absolutely love the color palette. Just alternates with that pink yellow and blue and I just think again gingham really? is so I'm cute really surprised pretty. you got so many gingham things because usually I'm got two the gingham today, person but if you, I think Ew. this would look adorable with heels or like Jack Rogers but I know a lot of people like to wear their dresses with white chunky sneakers and like frilly socks this would be a great dress for that for kind of like that cutesy feminine vibe I got this beautiful tie-dye set it's really comfy cozy I would probably wear this you know just to lounge around the house maybe to go to class if I was really feeling a little bummy yeah wanted to slum it but not like but still a cute a put together slum it yeah not to look frumpy like mom tells me I look <laughs> <laughs> love you mom Okay, next up, I picked up one of those white little skirt slash skirt things. I know Madison showed you one, and this is another option for one. This one's a little bit higher waisted than Madison's, and the waist was a little bit tinier because, you know, it sat up higher on your waist. But this also isn't denim. This was a polyester blend. This is great for sorority recruitment, and it would be a great piece for going out paired with a bodysuit and some heels for going out. Or, like I said, a great sorority recruitment piece if you're someone who is looking for a basic to wear with with one of your like tees that they give you they provide this is an awesome one and it's got that cute little yeah. tie along the front which I love anyways I love this jumpsuit it's really comfy and cozy this is like what I would wear when you know I want to go to class but like kind of want to bum it but also look presentable so like it's like sweatpants yeah not. so many people say like oh you guys you dr or well not Madison but I nice. dress so fancy this, you're wearing this a dress looks fancy but you're feel like you're wearing I know that's it's why like, I like to fabulous. wear dresses in rompers and jumpsuits because you feel relaxed like you feel loungish even though you're like you look really really cute mm -hmm. so if you're someone who likes to wear sweats but you want to look put together go for jumpsuits and like flowy pants yep. like that because you'll feel so better so this much was better. actually fabulous i was a little worried because like the crotch looks so low on it but it was actually like in the perfect spot so it was like Yes, a 10 out of 10. And the length was good too, so. Okay, next top I picked up. This is on the cropped side, but I pretty much only wear really high-waisted denim, so I could totally get away with this for class with some, like, black mules and jeans, but I basically got this top to go out in. I love tops that have, like, that little sewn-in um, bustier-style cup, and this has self-tying straps. Not, like, pretty much everything I own has self-tying straps. The back of this is smocked, and I just thought this was a great basic to have. I would really recommend this because you can wear it to class, and you can wear Going out. Dress. I'm not really a dress person, but I'm trying. My style has changed this summer, so I'm, we're we're venturing out. Um, but it comes with these buttons and pockets. 
like two pockets in your dress. Oh my god, it's fabulous. And it also feels like you're wearing so like nothing. What are you so. gonna wear this to class with shoe wise? Like um, flip flops. If I had Jack sneakers? Rogers, probably Jacks. Those. Okay. I don't have any though. So Madison's style has really stepped it up this summer. She's it kind really, of guys. She's I'm morphed into me really a little good. bit. So it's like a style intervention, but I did it myself. Like <sighs> Okay, so, so many of you guys have been begging me to try Shein denim, and I'm just not a huge fan of their denim, typically. I've had I like some good pairs from them, but I'm someone who wears jeans so much in the wintertime that I prefer to, like, buy jeans that I can invest in because I'm gonna wear them yeah. over and over. But I saw these white jeans, and I don't know, something about them, I was like, I, want, I really want to give these a try. And I was pleasantly surprised, these are definitely the best denim I've gotten from Shein ever shorts, the jumpsuit, like everything. Thick. They feel really thick, and I really like the fit to them. They're kind of that 2000s style. They're not flared. They're not boot cut. They're like but they're like not straight leg. They're like the perfect in between of all of those combined. It's just like a wide leg. Yes, they just. Yeah. I think with a black like solid crop top um, tucked into it, and then like one of those like baguette bags and some black sunnies. Like not for class, but like for the blog. I think that's gonna be such a look. Next, I got this two piece set. I was really surprised with. This one, I think that this top is really flattering on people. What just, makes it flattering? You just like the fit of it? I just like the fit of it and the ruffle, it kind of comes down like she loves more ruffled in. sleeves. I love ruffled. Um, and it ties in the back, so cute little that's, accent. That's cute. I know that some a lot of you guys are high schoolers, and so you have um dress codes. Just pop on a cardigan with something like this, this and you should be fine. This didn't have that big of a gap, either, yeah. So a cardigan would work perfectly fine. She's polyester, by the way. So I grabbed this red bodysuit because, honestly, I don't have a lot of red in my wardrobe. It's showing up more true red on camera, but in person, it's more of, like, an orangish like red. Like burnt orange Yeah, red. but it's really flattering. It's got, like, that little bit of, well, it's a lot of it, of underwire that I like plunging style tops that have underwire because you're not, like, falling out of your top. It gives you a little bit of support. So really cute. This is a great going out piece. I wouldn't wear this to class ever, but it has a fun little crisscross in the back and it is one of those bodysuits that does not have snaps so I'm docking at points for that sake because you have to get like naked in order to go to the bathroom so she loses points there but oh. it was really cute all right next I have this pretty pink top kind of this is really me, cute kind of reminds me of the other one that I showed you guys just because it has the pebblum that I like as well and the ruffles it's just so Madison I just that would be really cute with jeans and tevas oh yes jeans tevas jeans tevas you're good oh. to go it's just like... So what would you rate out of 10? This top? Probably a 9. A 9? Yeah. Okay. It's pretty good. Yeah. Okay, so next up I grabbed one of these long sleeve crop tops. I feel like so many people are intimidated when I say everything's cropped that I wear, but it's because I only wear really high-waisted bottoms. I used to be really intimidated by crop tops too until, and like now this, I don't until think of this it. summer and then yeah. I got really okay with it just with because it. I started wearing... Yeah, Pink and all my joggers come up to my belly button, so it doesn't really bother me. This is a really great basic. You could wear this to class easily with jeans and mules, or I would throw this on with a pair of joggers and chunky sneakers and wear this as a lounge top. It's a really nice material. It's really thick, ribbed, soft, and like I said, it's got that cute little tie along the bottom. It's not super low either, which I like, and you can wear a normal bra with it, which I do tend to appreciate once it gets colder out, tops that I don't have to wear like a sticky bra with, so she's cute. Okay. Yes. Next up, all right. You next up, I got this like mint colored top. It's kind of cropped, so it'd, like it look good with like joggers. But I think it's really cute because it has this like mountain here. And oh. she goes to school in West Virginia. I got so, like, oh, you know. I wasn't even thinking about that. I don't know. Oh, that's why I thought you got it. No, I was just thinking of like my skiing and everything. It just made me really happy. That'd be cute um, with chacos. Yeah, just gives me that vibe. It gives you know? her the granola vibe. Gives me the oh, yes. I want to live that life, guys. Okay, speaking of tops that tie in the front, I went ahead and picked up this baby. I don't know. I've been seeing a lot of tops like this. A lot of them similar, um, but being sold on Revolve and Princess Polly, more expensive websites. So this is like a great dupe. I will say this top <laughs> does run a little bit loose around the bottom, but it's got a really cute tie front action, but still a top that you could wear with a normal bra. Really thick, double lined, and I don't know. This is something you could wear out or you could easily wear to class. Two next tops are tops that I got to like wear with joggers and like kind of chill Basics. in. Basics. So I got this like mock neck top, which is kind of like intimidating to me because Madison hates mock necks. I don't know. They just kind of scare me. I don't love them, but this one I really liked. So 
Okay, it's just like a like a cropped long sleeve top. I already got makeup on it, so ignore that. Um, she just wanted tops like this I to wear with like, joggers. With she joggers. doesn't have a lot like, of basics when yeah. it comes to long sleeves, but no. picking up that kind of thing. But like, from I think great. when you wear a jogger, it's really good to like have a cropped thing. And because I like when having... bottoms are really oversized, you yeah. need something more fitted on the top. That's just like how the contrast works. So next, I wow, picked this up is fabulous. Next, I picked up this denim dress, and this gives me such Rachel Green vibes. Like I can totally imagine her wearing this with white kids and her hair in one of those claw clips like that is what I thought of when I saw this so anyways Madison's not a big fan of this but I think it's really I'm not, that I'm not a big fan of it I just don't think it's the Rachel Green you're talking about well okay I, I thought mean, I was I see I like your outfit and I, give her, I could see it but you know I thought it was That's really cute of but it. it didn't look that cute on me it was really big um so I'd recommend sizing down if you grab this if I clipped it in the back I could totally get like really cute photos in it but I don't think I could wear this and it'd be really flattering on me the way I intended it but still a fun mm. piece and I really like the raw hem to it all right next I got this this just a basic top again black another, long sleeve another cropped. black long sleeve but this one's like a v-neck um you can't see that but i don't know like is a good length doesn't come down too far fabulous just what you wanted just there's nothing else to say okay so last up for the clothing for me i have a couple pairs of shoes but last up for clothes i picked up this top that you honestly can't see you'll see the try on but it's got the most amazing balloon bishop sleeves to it i absolutely love statement sleeves i get my hands on them every chance i can get and this has got a really cute self-tying action in the front you definitely have to wear a sticky bra with this because the back of it is super sheer i thought that this would be perfect with high-waisted jeans and maybe some like lace-up sandals something really simple um if a boy at school wants to take me on a date let me know because this would be what i wear last but not least i I have this fun little that's cute top I was really confused how to put this on I'm um, not gonna lie well, it's but cute. it's a little bandana she's, top. she's cute it's like a bandana top but like you know, up on the side it's little tie on the action. side so the side you don't really have to do anything you could tie it in a bow if you don't want it to hang down but this just so this is really cute. this reminded me of mom like it really did really I don't know why it was just making me get those vibes I loved it well, that's good. You should bring me on vacation. It'd be cute. Yeah, this with like white denim. White wow. denim, black shoes. That's a look. It would look fabulous. Okay, last but not least, I grabbed two pairs of shoes. I grabbed a pair of white mules. I have a pair very similar that I just got rid of that I've literally had for three years. I wore the heck out of them. I love mules. I think they go with just about everything. And they're one of my favorite transition shoes from summer to fall. Just because they look like, you know, they're, they want to be closed toed, but they're not. So they're a good transition shoe. And I need transition shoes. But Madison just like doesn't like mules. I think mules are like an acquired taste. Like you either like them or you don't. But these are pearly white. I hope I can keep them white. But I'm really bad at keeping my white shoes white. So we'll see how long that lasts. But grabbed an eight in these and they fit perfect. And then I also went ahead and grabbed these babies. You're probably wondering why I need these for online class. And the answer is I just I just did, okay? Just um, so they them. look like this. They give me such 70s vibes. They've got that platform that's really easy to walk in. And a really thick sole. They're also like a crocodile and bra and bleh, I can't speak embossed print, which you guys know is like very retro. I love these. They were really easy to walk in, and I am wearing a size 38 in these. Typically, I wear a 39, but I did grab a 38, and these fit really well. I am really excited to wear these for one of the days of recruitment. I think I think it might be pushed online, and then I'll be stuck with no shoes. But either way, I'll be grabbing pics in these and bringing them to school for your blog photos, all that jazz. So. 10 out of 10. All right, guys, that is going to be all for today's haul with Madison. I really hope you enjoyed this. As always, I will have links to both of our items in the description bar below. And you guys can use my code Q4McKenz15 for 15% off your entire purchase. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and we will talk to you soon. Bye, Bye guys.